Welcome to the Parlance Daddy Show. Tonight we'll be talking about fashion, lifestyle, entertainment, and we have a special guest for you. So stick around and enjoy the show. Where did it all start? Directing, producing, acting, writing. Tell us all about it. Oh, that's a very interesting question. Where it all started? Well, it started when I was a little boy. I mean, my mom used to tell the most beautiful stories in the house. I mean, I never had a granny. Uh, generally, grannies tell the stories True. to their kids, to their grandchildren. Um, and basically, my mom was the storyteller in the house. She started telling stories. Yo, um, I was probably still very young, year, two years old. And I grew up in that environment of storytelling. And I would listen to her stories and I would start telling the same stories to my friends. Um, but I, I mean, I was not as good as her, but it grew in me. Ushanga, the mark. What is it all about? Ushanga in Zulu means, um, it means a mark. But in a different sense, in a sense that it's a mark that you make with a razor. You know, um, tribal marks basically. Tribal marks basically. Zulus and other African tribes they have those marks. tribal marks. Yeah. You meet um, the Zondis, the Zumas, the Zimandes. If you look at their faces, they all have the mark. Um, and that mark is basically when you're a child, a very young child, when yeah. you're born as a child, they incorporate you into the family. Mm -hmm. That's how the ancestors accept you. This is our child. That's how they see you by that mark. Okay. Um, another mark is basically when um, a lot of black people, in fact, stats says about 84% of black people go to traditional healers in South Africa. Okay. And I'd like to believe in the rest of Africa Good that too. should be the case. They go to traditional healers for different reasons. One, they go there because they want power, they want money, they healing, want to win the lottery, blessing, they want healing, true. blessings, and all of that. And it's such a significant symbol in, 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 in Africa. African, yeah. The third mark is uh, there's a belief that if your uh, family or your dad is a witch and they want to pass over the tradition of witchcraft, they have to make the mark on your bum this time so that you carry on the tradition of witchcraft. And that's basically what the project is about. Excuse me. It's about what mark you leave behind. Um, what do you want to be remembered about? And that's basically what the movie is about. But we the the lead which is played by by the poet Kabam Kize, uh, is basically a young boy, um, who wakes up one evening, uh, to chaos around his house because there's some crowd that wants to burn down his house. Eventually, the house is basically burnt down. They want to kill the whole family. Um, everybody survives, fortunately, except the father who burns to death, um, and this is. This talks to the third mark, which I spoke about, the mark of witchcraft. Everybody believes these people. It's not proven, it's just a belief which... It happens throughout on. Africa. I agree. Um, it happens to albinos in Tanzania where yeah. they, they, well, they believe to be witches. Yeah. Or if you cut an albino's hand or use it in some Don't portion, you know, you're going to be rich. It's basically all these traditions and beliefs which may not necessarily be based on anything. Um, so Kabam Kize wakes up to this pandemonium at the house, the father dies, they pack the mother and the siblings, they pack and, and move to another village. But the problem is this generational curse keeps following okay. them. Wherever they go, somebody s somewhere knows where they come from, knows the history, knows the prejudice, you know, knows what they're capable of, you know, and they really never get to rest because this keeps following them. The mother dies and the eldest, Kaba, needs to fend for his siblings. Where was the movie shot and who features in the movie? Like, how did you choose your characters? I mean, they should have been like amazing talent out there, especially to case it in. Let me tell you. Yes, I would the like to The talent is big. We got two, well, three big names, really. We got Sbo, the poet. Basically, he plays the lead. He plays Kaba Mkise. And he's amazing. Another big name we've got, you won't believe this. Finally, Mr. Linda Smee or Mr. Magic um, has decided to do acting. Very uh, well known in Durban. It very, is, very well known. Well, well, he's big. He's one of the biggest breakfast show hosts. He holds, I mean, he's got about three, four million listeners. Yeah, wow. so he's big. He's he big in the country. He he's a yeah he's an Ukosi FM um, DJ. DJ. Um, oh, exciting right. stuff. Exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. Catch us again next week for another exciting edition of the Parlanzadi Show. From me, Parlanzadi, ciao, ciao, merci.